speech is that, number one, he is such a great storyteller. I love that you flowered your speech with a lot of adjectives, with a lot of descriptives, because you definitely took us there to your story. You definitely took us there to the Republic of Starbucks. I can almost smell the <laughs> coffee while you we were delivering your speech, even when there was no coffee around. I also love your introduction. Imagine 20 years ago. I love that even before you started your sentence, I was already imagining what comes next. And it's a great way to hook us in your speech. And I love that even when you delivered your speech and then there were men uh, going on and, and doing their thing, you did not get distracted. And mm -hmm. you even raised your voice a bit. So, uh, for us to be, uh, for, for you to get, get us back on track, for, for him to get us back on track and uh, move our attention from the men to back to the speech. And that is one trait of a speaker to not get distracted and to veer the speaker, to veer the audience towards my speech because this is my story to tell. Now, if there are two things that I can help you with regarding your next speech, these are, number one, what you can do is if the subject is coffee, then there has to be actual coffee. For <laughs> you to get the whole vibe. And it's also good when you have props, when you have coffee, it would make an impact on your gestures because then you can lift the coffee and show us and then maybe, there you go, and then maybe when you have the props, when you, uh, there, there was an instance in your speech where you had to show what the baristas were doing, where they announced the name, Robbie Mocha from Chip, then you have your coffee or your props to, to show us. Now, that said, Indy, that was a great speech, especially because I love coffee myself. Mm -hmm. It veered, your speech veered me towards your topic, and we laughed out loud all throughout. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, back to our 